Good day, kids. How are you today? I am Teacher Roslyn, and welcome to the world of mathematics. So come and join me as we learn mathematics with fun. Are you ready? In this session, you'll learn to differentiate plain figures from solid figures. Okay, let's start. And now, match 3D and 2D objects by drawing a line to match the 3D objects to their 2D look-alikes. Okay, we have the first 3D object, which is cube. What is its 2D look-alike? Correct, it is square. How about the second 3D object? Rectangular prism. What is its 2D look-alike? Very good, it's rectangle. How about the third one? It is a triangular prism. What is its 2D look-alike? Okay, check. It is a triangle. The fourth one is hexagonal prism. So what is its 2D look-alike? Very good. It is hexagon. And the last 3D object is we have a sphere. Okay, what is its 2D look alike? Wow, perfect! It is circle. So very good class. Wow, you are now capable of matching 3D and 2D shapes. Now, as a sort of review, identify the shapes by choosing the letter of the correct answer of the following shapes. Are you ready? Very good. Let's start. What shape is this? A pentagon, B hexagon, or C octagon? Correct. It's hexagon. How about this shape? A rectangle, B square, or C cube? Correct. It is A cube, letter C. How about this shape? A diamond, B rhomboid, or C rectangle? Correct answer is rectangle letter C. How about this shape? Is it A cylinder, B prism, or C oval? Very good. That's letter A. It's a cylinder. How about this shape? A oval, B sphere, or C circle? Okay, correct. The correct answer is letter B sphere. Okay, this shape is letter A cone, B pyramid, or C triangle. Correct answer is letter A cone. How about this shape? Letter A rectangle, B square, or C diamond? Check. The correct answer is diamond, letter C. How about this shape? Letter A circle, B oval, or C sphere? Correct. It's letter A circle. How about this shape? A octagon, B hexagon, or C pentagon? Okay, the correct answer is letter C pentagon. How about this shape? Letter A prism, B pyramid, or C cone? Okay, right. The correct answer is letter B pyramid. I'm a 3D shape expert. Here are the 3D shapes that I know. A sphere, a cylinder, a cube, and a cone. A baseball, the moon, and an orange I have right here are all examples of a 3D shape that people call a sphere. A basketball, the earth. And marbles I have here are all examples of a 3D shape that people call a sphere. Here are the 3D shapes that I know. A sphere, a cylinder, a cube, and a cone. A soda can, a pencil shaft, and a can of soup would be. Examples of a cylinder, as you can plainly see. 
A marker, a glass of milk, and a peanut butter jar are all examples of a cylinder. Yes, I'm sure they are. Here are the 3D shapes that I know. A sphere, a cylinder, a cube, and a cone. An ice cube, a cardboard box, and a Christmas present for you are all examples of a 3D shape that people call a cube. My little dice, a sugar cube, and blocks that I use are all examples of a 3D shape that people call a cube. Here are the 3D shapes that I know. A sphere, a cylinder, a cube, and a cone. An ice cream cone, a pencil tip, and a megaphone are all examples of a 3D shape that people call a cone. A birthday hat, a traffic cone, or a funnel in my home are all examples of a 3D shape that people call a cone. Here are the 3D shapes that I know. A sphere, a cylinder, a cube, and a cone. A paperweight, Egyptian pyramids, and some tents would be examples of a pyramid as you can plainly see. Here are the 3D shapes that I know. A sphere, a cylinder, a cube, and a cone. Wow, what a beautiful video about shapes. And now, let's proceed to the next activity. Have you been to a toy store or department store? Okay, how will you behave inside the store? What will you do if you're going to choose objects to buy? And how will you handle them? Okay, so if you are in a department store or toy store, you should behave properly so that you cannot cause a mess in the store. And if you're going to choose objects to buy, you should handle him, them properly so that you cannot break any of them. Okay? What do you think are the objects that can be found in a toy store or department store? Okay, let's have this for example. A boy visited a toy store and he found the following. From the items that he found, identify which of them are plain figures and which of them are solid figures. Can you name them? Okay, and take a look of the pictures of the items that he found on the store. What do you think are objects that are plain figures? Okay, how about objects that are solid figures? Okay, let's see if your answers are correct. figures that the boy found in the store are these two. Well, the solid figures that the boy found in the store are these. We have a toy car, a dice, a ball, a robot, and a box. Now, what is a plain figure? Okay, a plain figure is a two-dimensional figure which possesses an area but the volume of this figure is zero. The examples of plane figures are square, circle, rectangle, triangle, and other shapes that are plane. 
Plane figures can be drawn on a paper. The unit of area of a plane figure is square of unit of length. And the study of plane figures is called plane geometry. And now, what is a solid figure? A solid figure is three-dimensional. So, it cannot be drawn on a paper because it has volume. Examples of solid figures are cube, pyramid, cone, and sphere. Okay, is it understood? Very good. Now that you already know the difference between the solid figures and plain figures, let us try this next activity. Are you ready? Very good. Now, turn to this activity on your module and cut the above graphics and glue them under the suitable categories. So, what will you do is you're going to cut the graphics or the shapes um, below and then you paste it or glue them under the correct category. Is it understood? Okay, then start. This time, draw at least two solid and plain figures that can be found in your home. Do it under the correct column. What is the difference between a plane figure and a solid figure? Okay, the difference between the plane and solid figures is in their dimensions. Plane figure has only length and width, while a solid figure has length, width, and volume. And now, let us assess your knowledge on what you have learned about differentiating plane and solid figures. Turn to the assessment part of your modules and answer this activity. Tell whether if the figure is plane or solid. Write P if it's a plane figure and S if it's a solid figure. Again, tell whether if the figure is plane or solid. Write P if it's a plane figure and S if it's a solid figure. Write your answer in the blank before each number. Okay, are you done? Very good. So now let's come to the last activity of this module. We're going to list down the names of 2D or plane figures and the 3D shapes or the solid figures and write them under the correct column. That would be all for today. I hope you learned something in this lesson. Thank you for listening. Goodbye, kids.